Don't you run away. We're going to be using you in a minute. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. And welcome to another episode from me, Avamance, in my farm tutorial series. Today, we're looking again at the chicken cooker farm. The last chicken cooker stopped working because of the update in 1.14.3. I think it stopped working. But this one will work in 1.14.3 and 1.14.4 and 1.15 snapshots so far. And also all of the versions beforehand as well. Let's crack on. So the way this farm works is you have adult chickens in there that lay eggs. They shoot the eggs through into this little half gap here. It's just a half a block gap, but that's big enough for the baby chickens to be able to spawn. And there's about one in seven to one in eight eggs turn into a baby chicken. Then when they grow up, they basically are too big for that half a slab uh, gap because they're 0.7 blocks high when they're an adult chicken, which means their head goes into the solid block, which means they suffocate and it means they go into the uh, item sorter around the back, which pushes chicken into the smoker and feathers into the barrel. Very simple. To make this farm, you are gonna need nine hoppers, one redstone torch, two redstone repeaters, two redstone comparators, six dots of redstone dust, five structural blocks, smoker, three barrels, three blocks of glass, 52 other structural blocks, could be the same block, one observer, one dispenser, one raw chicken, 44 of another structural block, or again, the same block, about 80 slabs, about a stack of another structural block, about 16 brick stairs is nicest, about half a stack of trapdoors, and four lanterns. First off, dig yourself a spoon shaped hole. You've got a tail here that is one, two, three, four long right in the middle. And this is a three by three hole with this little scoop out in the middle there. And right in the middle of that, pop yourself a barrel. I like this to be a barrel. Now, actually this could be a chest, but let's shove a barrel in there anyway. And into that barrel, get yourself a hopper. On top of that hopper, pop yourself a smoker. So as it's facing the barrel and then get another hopper and pop that hopper in there. And then you want to get another hopper facing into the top of the barrel. Then get yourself another barrel facing this way because it just works nicely that way. And then get another barrel and pop that barrel there. Okay, so you've got three hoppers so far plus the one underneath the smoker. Next up, we are going to copy this that I've set up here. You can see there's redstone on the top there as well, but we're gonna copy it down inside the hole. So this block, this block, the repeater, and the torch are inside the hole. So let's do that. So we've got one block there and one block there. The repeater goes in there. The redstone torch goes in there. Pop a block on top of the redstone torch, a block on top of that, and a block on top of that. Get yourself your comparator. Pop your comparator facing outwards that way. Redstone, redstone and redstone. So you can see we've repeated that, but one block down. And that one block down bit is actually quite important. Then come around the front and pointing into the comparator, just on the edge of the comparator, press shift or crouch and pop a, another hopper into that. Come on top of this hopper and point one facing down, pressing crouch again. Then come along and put another hopper, crouch click again, facing downwards into that, and then crouch click your last hopper there. So if you look at the, the way we've got this set up, you've got a hopper at the top going into that hopper. That hopper at the back is facing into that comparator. And these three are going straight down and they're exactly like that. Now what I want you to do is I want you to grab your dirt that you dug out or whatever it was you dug out and replace that, that, that and that. And if you wish you could replace that too, it's entirely up to you. Do not replace that one. That would be daft. Place a barrel on top of that hopper like that. I like the front to be facing frontwards. Now, if you want, you're gonna be want to access this barrel here. So you could, if you wish, take that out and leave the face on, or you can have it covered over. It's entirely up to you. Maybe I'll take it out just for clarity. And then come into the hopper that is pointing into that comparator here. And I want you to put 11 blocks in each hole here, not the first one. Now these blocks 
can be blocks that are not going to go into the farm. So if you wish you could rename these blocks using an anvil, but I'm fairly confident that oak logs are not going to go into this farm and then put one raw chicken, just the one raw chicken in there. This system is now primed and set. Come to this side of your system and tower up one, two, three with any structural block you like. I'm using wooden logs. Come across the top, shift click on top of that um, barrel and then another one like that. Come to this side, get yourself a dispenser and make the dispenser face over this hopper here. Then pop a cobblestone slab using shift click on top of it. Get an oak log and using shift click, put it on top of that hopper there. And then what you wanna do is using crouch, get yourself a step there, stay in crouch and come all the way across like that. Get yourself a glass, pop the glass there, second glass like that, another block of wood there, another block of wood on top of that, and then on top of this, bring a block of wood across like that. Now this bit is going to start to look untidy but we'll make it better later. From the block underneath that dispenser at the back come out one, two and three and then row more blocks along like that. And then into that dispenser at the top there I want you to shift click and put in a hopper and then put a redstone comparator coming out of the hopper and then get an observer and face the observer into that comparator. That observer is watching that comparator like a hawk. And then redstone dust one, two, and three, and a repeater going into that dispenser. Now what's gonna happen is if anything goes into that hopper, this will detect it and power up. The observer will see it power up and it will lay out a redstone fart, which will light up this circuit, power this repeater, put it into that dispenser, and the dispenser will actually spit out whatever it was that this thing had put inside it. So I'm just gonna demonstrate that. If you take a look from this angle, if I get this slab and I throw it in, you'll see it lights up and it spits it out. And obviously, given that that half slab at the top there is going into this hopper system, it comes out the bottom in the barrel. Now this fella is functional at the moment, but it is not looking good. So bring this up, one, two, three, four, and five. And so you've got level with the other side, then put some upside down stone steps to continue that along. You want to bring the level of this up as well and put that there, that there, that there, and that there. Pop another one there and some glass there. So what you've got is you've got what's effectively a shelf with an open gap at the end, a glass viewing window there, and an opening here that we'll do something with in just a moment. I've created some steps up to the top level here. Just, I mean, these are temporary, it doesn't matter. I've just used wood because it was in my hand. And crouch and pop another piece of wood on top of that comparator. So you've got your little one by one by one space here. Then what I want you to do is I want you to get some temporary blocks. Doesn't matter what you use, I'm just using wool because I can. It's just a temporary block. It matters not what we use. And that gives us a two deep hole. Now the reason we make a two deep hole is because it makes getting these chickens in a darn sight easier. So come along, grab yourself a few chickens. They'll love you because you've got seeds and just start to come up the steps. They will follow you. Up they come. Now keep these seeds in your hand and try and sneak behind them and knock them in the hole like that. Doesn't matter if they're babies or adults because the babies will eventually grow up and that's what you're after. And you wanna get just a number. Don't get more than 24. Because if you get more than 24, what you're going to find is they start to die. Have I got any other chickens around here? And if I have them, what I can now do, because I've got two, is I can breed them up. I have now got a load of chickens in there. I've got about 20 chickens in there because that's what I felt I needed. And you could get them to breed up that way, or you can just have them in the local area. Look, there's a couple more running around. Now, get yourself a slab and put a slab on the bottom of your temporary block like that and then you can just remove your temporary blocks what that means then your chickens are trapped inside your little system there and what's going to happen is they're going to start laying eggs and when they lay eggs those eggs are going to be sucked by that hopper into the dispenser 
and then obviously when the eggs go in the comparator is going to detect them and the system is going to shoot them into here so now what you want to do is you want to get yourself a block on the back of here and that will automatically trap any baby chickens that get shot into here as a result of these guys laying eggs now because the baby chickens are only half a block high they'll sit on top of that slab very easily but when they grow up which they do eventually they will get their head stuck in this solid block above them and they won't like that very much because they'll suffocate and they'll die and when they die they will drop their meat and they'll also drop feathers which is why we needed this item sort of the meat will fall through into this smoker and the feathers will fall through into this barrel here very simple right and no need to have any lava whatsoever so we can make it all out of wood and it looks lovely in here you put your fuel that will feed the furnace that will allow you to cook that chicken now whilst they're in there they'll start priming up the system we're going to build this up so as it looks a bit nicer you can see that your farm has already started to produce some baby chickens as a result of eggs getting laid in there those poor things don't know what's going on do they so what we're now going to do is we are going to just neaten it all up a little bit so come out two past the end of that redstone and come across this way and do the same there as well and then what i want you to do is come up another four one two three four which should put you the same height as everything here one two three four then we're going to get some oak planks and we're going to build in some walls don't go into where that barrel is just keep it one back and then come underneath there bring it around like this all the way around and then when you've done it too high remember this is a redstone circuit you don't want things like light updates getting in the way so pop a torch in there then continue to build your wall up until it is one row below where the top of this is so right here like that and then again you've got a redstone signal here so make sure you don't have any light update problems that will cause you some lag and then get yourself your oak logs pop an oak log here now it doesn't actually matter whether you use oak logs here or not but i'm just going to put an oak log there an oak log there and we're going to bring those along like that so as they're all in the same orientation and then that's going to come across like that and i'm then going to build across the roof using bottom half slabs just continuing with that slab that we used to block those chickens in i'll just finish this roof so we have put the walls in but you can still see some of the stuff here and that's no good so what we're going to do is we're going to put some trap doors along the row here like that like this and then you have to crouch click and put it on the bottom of that trap door remove that on there and similarly crouch click put it on the bottom of that trap door like that so you've got a nice row of trap doors covering up all the gubbins that go around that way and then here what you can do is you can put a row of trap doors there crouch click in there there crouch click in there and there so all that's visible is your coal feed barrel your actual smoker your collection barrel and your feathers barrel I've put some lanterns on the corners just to make it a little bit more interesting, but I'm certain you can beautify this up way better than I have. I've deliberately done it pretty basically. So come in and put some fuel, whatever fuel you want, into that barrel. That will start to roll into the smoker so it is ready to start cooking chickens as soon as those chickens get big. So what we're going to do is we're going to wait for about half an hour and we're going to see how much chicken we can get and how many feathers we can get in our system after 30 minutes starting now it has been 45 minutes i let it go just a little bit longer because it's 20 minutes for a baby chick to grow so i've given it two growth cycles uh, to be able to get you know a reasonable test on this farm so if i come in and i look at what is going on first off in the barrel here we've got 
18 feathers in the feather collection barrel and in the chicken barrel, 32. We've got half a stack of chicken in 45 minutes. So that implies that we have you know, a, very nearly a, a stack, about three quarters of a stack within an hour, which is not too bad because chicken is a very nourishing food. So there you have one relatively effective chicken farm. Half to three quarters of a stack of cooked chicken per hour plus a load of feathers got to be worth the effort. And it works in 114.4 and works currently in the 115 snapshot. So I'm hopeful that it will keep working as well. Also should work in bedrock. Do let me know if it does. If you have enjoyed this video, please do remember to slap that like button. It'd be great to know you're enjoying it and I will keep on making them. Also, if you've not done it already, please do hit that subscribe button. It'd be great to see you in my sub club and I look forward to seeing you in another video. You take it easy now. Bye.